to god in gladness sing how great is name give thanks to him for his marvelous deeds alleluia alleluia he came among his people he dwelt among the poor he chose so for the weakest the humblest to be friend to god in gladness sing how great his name give thanks to him for his marvelous deeds alleluia alleluia In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. And today we bring to the altar of the Lord all the victims of the pandemic coronavirus all those who are suffering by the natural calamities around all those who suffer due to the negligence and lack of commitment of our own leaders and we also pray for all those who have asked our prayers surrendering ourselves to the lord all that we are and all that we have we ask the lord for pardon for the times we have failed to belong to him confessing our failures to god and to one another let us all together say i confess to almighty god and to you, to you my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that i have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary of a virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us. and grant that all works for our good through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the second letter of saint paul to timothy Beloved I remember Jesus Christ risen from the dead the offspring of David as preached in my gospel for which I am suffering bound with chains as a criminal but the word of God is not bound therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect that they also may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory the saying is trustworthy form if we have died with him we will also live with him if we endure we also we will also reign with him if we deny him he also will deny us if we are faithless he remains faithful for he cannot deny himself remind them of these things the charge and charge them before god 
not to quarrel about words which does no good but only ruins ruins the hearers do your best to present yourselves to god as one approved a worker who has no need to be ashamed rightly handling the word the word of truth the word of the lord thanks be to god so my response o oh lord make me know your ways o oh lord, oh lord make, make me, me know your ways o oh lord make me know your ways teach me your paths guide me in your truth and teach me for you are the god of my salvation o oh lord, oh lord make me know your ways good and upright is the lord he shows the way to sinners He guides the humble in right judgment to the humble he teaches his ways O oh Lord, Lord make me know your ways All the Lord's paths are mercy and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and commands The Lord's secret is for those who fear him to them he reveals his covenant O oh Lord, oh Lord make, make me know, know your ways Acclamation Our Savior Christ Jesus abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came up and asked Jesus, "Which commandment is the most important of all?" Jesus answered, "The most important is, hear, O Israel, The Lord our God the Lord is one and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength the second is this you shall love your neighbor as yourself there is no other commandment greater than these and the scribe said to him you are right teacher you have truly said that he is one and there is no other besides him and to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength and to love one's neighbor as oneself is much more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices And when Jesus saw that he answered wisely he said to him you are not far from the kingdom of God and after that no one dared to ask him any more questions the gospel of the lord praise to lord jesus christ my dear sisters and brothers in christ in the gospel that we just heard from the gospel according to mark we have that beautiful scene where 
Jesus is in a kind of debate with some scribes and the Pharisees. And the debate is about paying taxes, about the resurrection of the dead, about the greatest commandment, and about observing the Sabbath law, and so on. It is said that the scribes and Pharisees were two particular classes of people in the Jewish religion. And they were people who were interested or they considered themselves as persons responsible to interpret the laws and to see to it that these laws have been fulfilled and kept well by the people, by the Jewish religious people. So they had a tendency to interpret the law of God. The laws were given to them, but perhaps by the time Jesus came, there were so many laws and directives and precepts that made it difficult for the people to be faithful to the laws. And it is in this context that Jesus is asked, which is the most important commandment. And he clearly says, quoting from, this, quoting from two very important texts from the Old Testament, from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 to 5, he says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And quoting Leviticus 18, verse 18, he says, Love your neighbor as yourself. Love is the commandment that God gives. Love God above everything else and love others as you love yourselves. Love is the most important thing. That's what Jesus taught during his lifetime. Anything else you can do, but if you have love for God and love for others, that is the, the, the summary of living a life of holiness. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we are living in a society where perhaps people think it is easy to love God. But Jesus very clearly says that the love commandment is perhaps two sides of the same coin. It has got two aspects. In other words, you cannot love God if you do not love your neighbor. You cannot be faithful to God if you are faithful to something else. You are called, you are invited to love God above everything else and to love one another as you love yourself. In other words, you cannot relate to God, you cannot love God if you dislike your neighbor, the one who lives beside you. And the greatest challenge perhaps that we face today is this, that we be able to see and experience the reality of the one who stands close by, one who sits close by, one who lives close by. If you are able to respond to his needs, understand his problems, cry, I mean, listen to his cries, then we say that we are people who love God. Love for God has to be manifested in our love for our neighbor. And Jesus shows it in its the ultimate, in its highest form. He was willing to let go of himself and give his life as a ransom on the cross. My dear brothers and sisters, we are invited today by Jesus to live the commandments. Love God above all, love others as we love ourselves. Beautifully said, 
but we know how difficult it is. Yet that is what we need to become, we need to be, we need to live if we want to remain faithful to God. Let's during this Mass pray that we may know the spirit of the commandment. Commandment to love God and love others. And we may have the courage to live it faithfully. May God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable and pleasing to God, our loving Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands. hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice 
And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and to bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, and all the bishops and clergy in the Catholic Church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her blessed spouse, with your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words Jesus, our Savior, gave us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, yours now and now forever. And forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace and the joy of this Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other some sign of peace. Let you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, the word and my soul shall be healed. Be 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in words or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing out to God, shout to the Lord, praise Him with all your heart. Sing out to God, shout to the Lord, Praise Him with all your heart. Magnify the Lord with me. Bless His holy name. Now that He has set me free, nothing is the same. Sing out to God, shout to the Lord. Praise Him with all your heart. Sing out to God, shout to the Lord. Praise Him with all your heart.